Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Renegade Platinum. We're on Route 222 now, and we're just heading to Sunny Shore City, so I guess we'll just keep moving. I just been battling all these fishermen. Um, we should probably surf down and see what's... Um, of course it has Megahorn. See what's, um, below, like, on the ocean where I haven't been looking. And bounce. Not really any reason to switch. This bounce will do less than Regahorn did. And Kingdra. Uh, that's kind of scary, actually. Kingdra's only weak to Dragon and Fairy, and it probably has Ice Beam, so I can't do that. Um, we'll just go into Bessie. I, I don't. I can't send in Sharkisha. It'll definitely have Ice Beam. And Dragon Dance. Torpedo. Uh, what do we do against this? I guess we can just stay in. It's not going to do anything. He's going for, uh, head smash. Not head smash. Um, skull bash. That's what it's called. Alright, I'm going to surf down. Hopefully there's not two trainers down there. Put up a repel. I don't want to really see what's here. Oh, okay, it's just nothing. It's another fisherman there, but let's just get this item first. I hate fighting fishermen. There's not really much here, is there? Pikachu fan club. And Pokemon size contest. I have a big Pokemon, so that counts, right? No, he just wants to find a giant Remoraid. I think we can actually do that, like... The Pokemon you fish up have sizes? Maybe not. There's so many fishermen on this route, I really wish there weren't. I'm just gonna try to take him on his double battle to do him as fast as possible. Hopefully I don't regret this. We're gonna take out Lantern and then I'm gonna switch out Phyllis just so it doesn't get blasted by Lantern. Um, Remoraid will probably have Ice Beam, but I doubt it's gonna go for it on Phyllis, so I can probably send in Sharkisha. Remember it has Dunk Shot. Interesting. Um, we can go for the Giga Drain here. Yeah, we'll Giga Drain Remoraid and we'll just go for Earthquake. If Remoraid survives. And another Remoraid. And then Mantine. Okay. I'm actually gonna get Sharkisha out of here. And also Neck too, actually. We'll go back into Phyllis, and then we'll switch out. I, I'm just worried about these water types having Ice Beam. I don't want to risk that. I also switched the Life Orb onto June instead of the Choice Band. Um, just because I thought it might be a little more useful. We'll go for Air Slash on the Remoraid, because we'll kill... Mantine with Ice Punch. It didn't die. And it went for Hydro Pump. Okay, good, good. That, that would have made me sad if a Hydro Pump from that killed June. But, looks like we're fine. Just Ice Shard it. I'm surprised it survived that Ice Punch, actually. And Machamp. Okay. We're gonna air slash, and then we're gonna switch out because it's gonna murder my Weavile. 
Um, fighting types are really bad for our team. We'll just go into Sharkeisha. And of course he misses their slash. Luckily, his defense is a little lower now. We can go into Maroon. Oh, stop! Are you kidding me? Do you really miss Air Slash twice in a row? Could you please not do that? Alright, let's heal. And hopefully Phyllis doesn't miss Air Slash. He has Keen Eye. I mean, I know that doesn't raise accuracy, but it's just ironic. Like, come on. Air Slash's accuracy is 95, I'm pretty sure. Let me just make sure, because that's so garbage. 95, and you missed twice in a row. I hate all these water types. They're such a problem. I don't think Cynthia- Cynthia has a Milotic, but that's it, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully it's not too bad. This guy won't fight me because it's daytime. A Psychic. Or just an Ace Trainer, I can't tell. I think he's a Psychic. We'll go for June lead. Nope, he just gives up the TM for Fling. Fling gives me bad memories because when I first played Platinum, um, <laughs> I accidentally taught Fling to my Gardevoir just to see how Fling worked because I never seen the move before. And then I, it was holding the XP share when I clicked fling, and my XP share was gone forever, so that was pretty fun. Okay, you know what? This scares me, but hear me out. I think it might die to a Technician Rock Smash. This is not a risk I should be making, but like, ugh, whatever. Rock Smash, please die. Okay, we're good. June just does that much damage. We are Life Orbed after all. And Flareon. We're definitely going to switch out of Flareon though. Meganium. That's double weak to poison. And that's what Maroon's poison jab is for. I'm not sure how I feel about Maroon just yet. I'm I'm still reeling from the loss of Expo to <laughs> be happy about my new fire type. But it's the only other fire type we have, and it's probably the only other one we're gonna get for the rest of the game, so. We have to cherish it. Okay, I think we're pretty much done with the route. We just have to leave. Unless there's a whole other side of the route I haven't seen. Oh, I haven't battled her yet. Azumarill. Yeah, we're gonna switch. I, there's no way I one-shot an Azumarill. A neutral move. Of course, it goes for superpower. That actually didn't do too much to Neck, and now its stats are lowered, so we can just go for Giga Drain. Um. Okay, good. If that didn't one shot, I, we'd have a huge, huge problem on our hands. I'm glad he didn't go for that on the first turn. Caliper. Oh, and his has Drizzle, because his is way better than mine. But... We have to switch. Because he's gonna use Hurricane or something. Ugh, that Hurricane does a lot. And he's not gonna miss, so I don't know why I'm bothering healing. Actually, no, that didn't do enough. We can just air slash, he's dead. I was faster anyways, I am timid. I could have just attacked it. Gastrodon. If 
Polyrath is kind of a problem. I don't really like any of my Pokemon's chances of fighting Polyrath. Well, except for Phyllis, so I guess we'll do that. I don't think Polyrath gets Thunder Punch, so we should be okay. It's going for Mind Reader Dynamic Punch. And a Kingler. Kingler is pretty low special defense, so Giga Drain should do enough to it. I'm actually surprised by how well Neck seems to be taking all these super effective attacks it's getting hit by. I could've used a Honey Tree on this route. Well, I mean, I got Flaffy, so I'm, I'm not mad, so whatever. This is the Elite Four guy. His name's... Uh, Flint, I think? I think it's Flint. Yeah, it's Flint. I got it right. This guy just wants us to battle Volkner and uh, win, which is what we were going to do anyway, so I don't know why he even bothered. Sunny Shore City's, uh, oh, what's this? Is this just the lighthouse? Oh yeah, there's Volkner. I guess we had to find him. I was kind of expecting there to be an Ampharos at the top of this lighthouse, just like the one in Johto. That doesn't seem like a very good system for lighting the lighthouse using an Ampharos. Why don't you just use a light bulb? It's reliable, you don't need to feed it, and it's like... better. <laughs> it just doesn't seem efficient to use an Ampharos, so I don't know why they even bothered. And Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam is not really a move we need, so I'm not going to use it. If I had something with Pixelate, which doesn't exist in this game, maybe I would. For the funny memes. I can also get a Water Encounter in um, Sunny Shore City, so I guess I should probably do that now. Like, they, they keep talking about that there was, there was a blackout in Sunny Shore, but they have, um... They have all these solar panels where, like, why did there just stop being energy? We still haven't gone underground, I do need to do that. You guys just give us underground um, advice. Oh right, this is where you buy all the seals. I could give effort ribbons to all my Pokemon, but I'm not gonna do that. These are pretty cheap actually. But they're also a nuisance to use. I'm just gonna buy a few luxury balls just in case. I'm not going to remember to use them if I find a Pokemon that evolves with happiness, but just in case, I do remember. I doubt we're even going to encounter any Friendship Evolution Pokemon this late. Oh hey, it's Olivia. Or, that's not Olivia, Jasmine. Whatever, same person. Um, so we can actually get an encounter on Route 224. Okay, well, let's just get our encounter before we do anything else. So this still counts as Sunny Shore City. Should I surf or should I fish? Actually, no. Before I get my encounter, let's, um... Let's explore. Do I already have the Super Rod? Oh, no, I do. Never mind about that exploring. I, I just wanted to explore just to get the Super Rod, but I already have the Super Rod, so... Doesn't matter. It's a bit harder when speeding up, but oh well. Gyarados, that's uh, that's dupe, so we already have a better Gyarados anyway, so no reason to keep this. 
There's probably just gonna be like Gyarados here. I should just get a surfing encounter. I mean, what Pokemon could I possibly get from fishing that like I'd want more than a surf encounter? Let's just surf. A Tentacruel. We got Stoops too. Did our Tentacruel die? I think it did. Pelipper. Ugh, we might have to fish. Actually, I could have caught that one just because it was Drizzle and replaced mine. Just give me something I haven't seen yet. Or nothing, that works. Okay, you know what? I've given up on, uh, <laughs> on doing that. So instead, oh, and we're glitching out. So this is a perfect time to end the episode. We'll be back next time. We'll get our two encounters. And we'll um, prepare for the Sunny Shore Gym, I guess. Thanks for watching.